other question is after Devin, if you're successful against Devin, who would you ideally want to fight next? If it was completely up to you, to you, who would you like to fight next? First thing that comes to mind is Teofimo. Sex, second thing is me fighting uh, Sean O'Malley uh, in the MMA. How do you think that that would go if you fought Sean? I would, I would beat him. I'm gonna keep it simple. I would beat him. What did like you think of his? What did you think of his performance last night against? Um, uh, Cheeto? Cheeto? He he yeah. did all right. You know, I mean, it it was nice. It was good work. You know, fighting a, uh, let's say, aggressor. But let's see what Sean O'Malley could do coming forward. We never see him do that. But uh, okay, Krista, I'm gonna go to my friend uh, Patriot. Patriot. Hold on, hold on, hold on real quick. Yeah. What's up, brother? Um, give me, give me one second. I'm trying to get myself together over here. You go to the next wrestling. I'm coming right back. Okay, no worries, Kenny. You you can talk. Yeah, what's up, Ryan? Yeah, what's Yo, just a quick question, bro. Just for you personally, like in a in a sport where I feel like the best stuck the best. Why why do you keep taking like the hardest fights on the road? Like, is there a reason you're doing it? Is it for legacy? Like, what's up with that, bro? I mean, hasn't the sport suffered enough? Think about it. You know, um, as many times as people complain that nobody's fighting anybody, <laughs> look at me. I'm fighting everybody and everybody's still complaining. So I'm just showing people that, you know, when you give them what they want, it, it's always a problem. But look, it. my whole thing is I came into the sport to bring back the feeling I would get when I would watch a Floyd Mayweather fight, Oscar De La Hoya fight, or, or a fight that just made you excited before that that bell rang, and I didn't know how that was going to go down, but I knew that if I just listen to the people and just understand and give them what they want, you know, no matter what, you know, I'm doing things for me. I remember a story when my mom, you know, I was in the amateurs. My mom goes, why don't you just go in the lower weight class to avoid X, Y, and Z? I said, why would I do that? I want to fight the best. And I stayed in the toughest weight class and I became a national champion in that weight class. So that just carried on to where I'm at now. Yeah, you're a legend, brother. Keep Thank working, you. man. Everybody's talking too loud in the background. Okay, Amber, you you could you could talk. I don't have my hand up, but I'll ask you. Oh, I'm um, sorry. I thought no, you it's did. Fine. I'll I'll ask you a question. Um, okay. so you said that you want to fight in MMA, but you put out a tweet yesterday saying that um, like MMA fighters shouldn't cross over into boxing. Yes. What makes you think that you can cross over into MMA? Well, because it's very unfair for MM MMA fighters to come to boxing, as you, we, we've proven it over and over again. But I think that there's a chance if somebody took it serious, right? Um, a little example is Clifton Shields. She's kind of making noise, and I think it's PFL MMA. But for me, I think because um, of my determination and my natural ability to catch on to things, and people don't know I've been wrestling for a long time, for years now, and I'm, I'm doing really well, so... If I put my mind to it, I'm talking about, look at three months of rigorous training, rigorous, I can't even say that word, but you know what I'm trying to mean. And if I if I dedicate myself nonstop to MMA, I think I could pull it off. Now, look at people call that crazy. They call Deion Sanders crazy when he went from basketball to base. Oh, no, it was football to, to baseball. So maybe I could do it. Why not? Thanks. It's just like some form of like healthy delusion, like your mindset, your mentality would help you get there rather than anything it's else. It's only delusion if if I can't, you know, if I don't do it, you know, it's delusion. Like, like, how could it be delusion if I really pull it off? You know what I mean? Like, I guess you could say healthy delusion uh, if you want to call me delusion. Just in the se just in the sense yeah. of like delusion, like in terms of healthy delusion in terms of like. There's been season. boxers who have true. Holly Holm was that a boxer, and she became um uh, the world champion in the UFC. Well, there you go. So it's not far fetched. I think people probably because they i don't know maybe it's striking the striking um what's up ryan i'm back the yeah, yeah, strike okay. the the strike what, what what he's saying what ryan's saying is um the striking is different in boxing and mma like floyd when floyd got in the ring with conor mcgregor it, it's a big difference from when mcgregor was hitting floyd and floyd was hitting mcgregor like we strictly in boxing just work on the the, the strike and the punches yes, so yes. when ryan when ryan throw a hook it's different from when somebody from MMA throw a hook. You know what I'm it's, saying? That's the smaller way to put it. And and because look at they have to worry about let's say look at they have to worry about kicks, 
et cetera, takedowns. So they can't deliver the type of punches we can. We, we're fully confident you ain't going to kick me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we could transfer all of our energy into that punch. Yeah, I will say Sean O'Malley is pretty good at striking, but so was Conor McGregor. <laughs> and then when he got in the ring, uh, they weren't they weren't too powerful. Yeah, right. Think about was- this. If you, can, if you can dodge, if we're slipping punches, right, if you could mm-hmm. dodge a punch, you could see a kick coming a mile away. That's nah. what I'm trying to tell people. I, I, I've had people try to kick me before. All they do is pick my hand up. Block, block. I, okay, they say calf kicks. Okay, well, let me learn how to check. They can't be that I mean, it could be hard, but... People that have trained in MMA all the whole time still can't check a kick all the time. Sometimes you got to just take that bitch. I'm sorry, excuse my language. Sometimes you got to take it. And and it is what it is. <laughs> my bad, guys. But it's hilarious. Um, You know, can I learn how to check a kick? Yes. Can I learn how to sprawl? I already know how to do that. Can I learn how to defend submissions? I'm pretty sure I can. So to me, it's not far-fetched. But the punching is definitely different. Like if you're trying to kick somebody, we can catch your kick. Once we catch your kick, you don't want to feel one of these straight rights to left hooks with, with a boxer with, that with know what six, they're doing. Hey, bro, with six ounce gloves, I don't think you want to feel. I mean, I mean, that's what I mean, or whatever, four ounce gloves. Hey, young D Lo, you 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 could you can speak. I can speak. Yeah, of course, bro. All right, all right, Ryan. I'm gonna ask you like a a, a weird question, but like you gotta like listen to it. You feel me? Okay. All right. <laughs> did did you lose against Tank or did like Tank win? Did I lose against Tank or did Tank win? I think those both are true. It's a trick nah, question. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta like right. listen to it. Like, okay, see? all right, go. Did Already I said lose? it. Okay, did I lose against Tank or did Tank win? You, you know what? You gotta like think. The dumbest question I've ever heard in my life. Bro, 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 he gets bro the somebody help just me here, bro. Just let Make it think. Just, just think, bro. Question. You're not thinking, bro. Nigga, bro I was trying to question. think, bro. That's you got me. Question. You got yeah, me. Let him answer my... it, nigga. He gets the question. <laughs> let, let take your time, bro. I, I am. It's like a riddle. Well, I, I mean, like yeah, I, would saying, say, like, I would say tank one because you don't lose. Do that, that, that's a good mentality. All right, hop off his meat, bro. Oh my but God. I'm just saying, like, if, that, if that's a fucking question, like, you would take that option, surely. You don't want to call yourself straight. Either, but Ryan beats yeah. him at 140, you know. Uh, yeah. Yes, for sure. So if that's the question you're saying, yes, tank one because he won in negotiations. Ah, come didn't. on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm being real, bro. Look at, look at, at the end of the day, everything I said is facts. If it wasn't got, true, it wouldn't be so. Look, at, am, am I man enough to say I signed the contract? Of course. Am I, but I'm also going to be man enough to say that was some stuff that a major, I say 99% of boxers won't take. So, And I didn't need to take that those clauses in my position. I had money. I had everything. What I, what I didn't have was the trust of the people that I was going to go in there and, and, and get in the ring amidst, amidst all the things that they put against me. Now, if you guys could get in the ring dehydrated and almost on the verge of basically dying, then you could speak on how I felt in the ring. At the end of the day, I know what I was up against. I, I did it for boxing. I, I sacrificed my well-being so the sport could propel. And you see, after that, Errol Spence, Crawford got in the ring, and many other people started getting in the ring and fighting each other. So say what you want. I went and changed. Uh, I changed the sport on how I felt it needed to be changed. But now boxing, I'm good. Boxing is about politics. That's what they got to understand. A lot of people don't understand the business aspect of boxing. Before you can actually critique somebody for losing, you do have to look into the contracts that they sign. If you dehydrated, if you ever been dehydrated before, you're weak as hell. Look at Errol Spence. Earl Smith is dehydrated. Drink fine. If, 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 all right, I challenge anybody to be dehydrated and, and just try to play some basketball. <laughs> just try to play some basketball, and, and, uh, let alone being in the ring of, uh, in front of millions of people with pressure all around you. <laughs> like, come on. You can't even study for your test dehydrated. Don't even get on me about nothing. 